Are you a 10x developer? In my case, it's pretty easy to see. You see all my setup and you see my huge text, so I'm definitely a 10x engineer. There was recently a very interesting discussion on Twitter about the topic of this 10x engineer or uh, rockstar developers, which attracted a lot of discussion, uh, potentially a lot of hate. Some agreed to the topic. Um, definitely a lot of cool memes like, is a developer with 10 arms already a 10x developer? Or is someone who's a 10x developer? Today I want to share with you my point of view on the topic of the 10x engineer. I want to present you a few of the developer qualities that I think are important and in general remove a bit of the fear that maybe beginners might have that see discussions like this in the development area. So let's do this! For all of you who don't know what this is about, we basically talk about the thread that somebody brought up on Twitter and this person explained what a 10x engineer in his or her, no I think his opinion should be. The essence of the 10 elements that he uh, mentioned were basically a very toxic developer who's only working alone, um, who's of course delivering awesome results and getting a lot of traction for the startup he's working on, but in general he skips all the meeting and is anti-social and a lot of people of course reacted with a lot of uh, disagreement on this topic and I also think how he presented the topic wasn't really uh, close to the reality because at my first job I definitely encountered one of these persons, um, greetings to Johan if you watch this, and he was certainly a very very huge brain when it comes to everything programming. So he could basically run all the different applications in our uh, department which were written in like different stuff, Ruby, Python, um, Java, uh, Swift, whatever it was, he could basically sit down and immediately fix a problem that other had spent hours on it. Contrary to the things that this person talked about on Twitter, he was very social, he helped me especially a lot in the beginning, um, so I'm very thankful for meeting him at that point of my career. And he was sharing his knowledge and helping others to become better and that's something that was not mentioned in the Twitter feed. Especially when you're a new developer, you might somehow fear that you will never become as good as this, you will never be a good developer. Actually, you don't even uh, call yourself a developer, I've seen everything. I've seen um, people who are really bad programmers call themselves developers and on the other hand uh, developers with a lot of experience still encounter this imposter syndrome like um, here on Twitter in this poll what you can see. So instead of trying to achieve this 10x developer status I want to talk with you about developer qualities that I think are very important um, that you can start to foster today and these will help you to become whatever you want to be especially a very very good programmer or a programmer who just get things done. So here's my list of qualities that I think are important as a developer. Perhaps you have additions of course then just let me know below the video and as always please leave the like and the subscribe because we are going for 100k, still a long way to go, but we will get there. Quality number one is about architecture of the things you develop. Especially in the beginning, perhaps in university you learn about these patterns like factory or facade and uh, I basically mm, never used any of these, maybe the factory. They're cool concepts and I'm sure in some enterprise environments they will be used and you have to know about them, but most of the time you don't really need them. But still, it is a good to practice to have a nice clean architecture in your code. And this doesn't come from day one, this comes with experience. Uh, looking at the source code or tutorial or especially official tutorials, these things will teach you to have the right architecture in your application and whenever you build stuff with a team, uh, you will get better at this part. Quality number two is about debugging. I got a lot of um, emails, comments, questions um, and I can't tell you how many times I got like cannot read property then of undefined or I get this error where it's basically already printed in the error what you should do. Debugging is really an important skill because if you're not a 10x developer you will always make any errors and if you can debug them faster like others, you will save a lot of time. So my first boss told me um, to be interested and I think that's a very important um, part of being a developer. When you encounter a problem, don't immediately stop and think you can't fix it. At least try three or four different ways 
And if that's still not working, you have to go deeper. Let's say, for example, you're using Ionic, you're using the Cordova plugin, it's not working. You try some console locks, it's still not working. So what are you going to do then? Of course, you look at the source code of some third-party library that you integrated, like a Cordova plugin, you step into the native code, you add breakpoints, and you take a look at where exactly your code fails, and then you will um, get an understanding why it's not working, perhaps you can find out why, or you can open an issue. And doing this repeatedly over and over again, going deep down into an issue and finding out why it's not working will teach you a lot about uh, debugging and software development. Quality number three is very easy, read the docs. For every framework, language, whatever it is, there are great documentation that you can look up online. If you can read them and uh, search them and find the information you're ahead um, of a lot of other people. Also, I think it's great to read books about programming. So there's a clean code book, I think. I personally um, have told you this before. I don't really like to read books. I'm uh, by no means a 10x developer and I don't want to become one. I'm into other stuff when it comes to reading, but of course books can be a great source of knowledge if you want to get better. Quality number four combines a bit of the previous elements, so you should follow best practices. How can you find them? As I said in the beginning, look at the official documentation, look at the official tutorials, uh, examples, and you will see how they use certain words, um, where do they put uh, specific aspects of your application. So there are definitely best practices that you can extract just from looking at other people's code or look at the code of um, really well-known people on GitHub that share repositories about something and then try over time to integrate those concepts into your development. And tip number five, use some sort of mentoring. If you're a junior developer or just getting started as a developer, try to learn from others, ask questions, be polite, be open for new ideas and things uh, the experienced 10x developer is trying to tell you if he's talking to you. And if you're already somewhere, maybe not a 10x developer, but a very experienced developer, one quality is to share your knowledge. Do reviews with your team, do reviews with other developers, help them to become better. If one great developer on the team can help like the 10 other developers to become 10% better, that's an improvement of, I don't know, 100%? No. Is it? You know, you see, that's the reason why I'm not a 10x developer, I'm bad at math sometimes. And finally, experience, experience, experience. Developers, 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 developers. I've talked about this in other videos. I've learned so many things just from developing uh, small ideas, projects, um, going through tutorials and then building my own stuff with it. Then you will encounter problems, then you go ahead and fix them, and at the end you will have learned a ton. If you do this over and over again, there's no chance you stay on the same level forever. You will for sure become a better developer. So these are a few of the qualities that I think are very important as a developer. Of course, there are more. I have skipped a lot of the team uh, work aspects. I mentioned this in the code review part. But of course, a 10x developer in my eyes should also take care of the other developers on a team and help them to become better. So that's definitely your responsibility if you're experienced. And just this week, I, as a little story, I had a moment where I thought, well, I'm kind of good at what I do. So I wanted to implement a new functionality for my side project that is about App Store submission image stuff, whatever. In one Sunday, in a few hours, I implemented on the server side, creating image files, zipping them up into an archive and sending that archive to AWS, connecting different technologies and services. And all of this just works at some point. And for me, that's really the spirit of a great developer. Not that I want to call myself now great, but whenever you say something like this and then put a but into it, it's like you meant what you said, right? If you are this kind of get shit done developer and know how to combine technologies, maybe you're even a full stack developer and you can uh, mix it all together, I think that's a very important quality as well and you can learn or earn a lot of money just with that skill. So instead of trying to become this 10x rockstar developer, maybe just try to get things done as a developer. If you're just starting out, 
you're still a developer if you can bring up a little website you don't have to fear that others will judge you this uh, toxic community that you saw to some degree in the thread is um, not the whole developer community so don't fear to be judged just because you're just starting out we every we all have been at that point right Okay, enough of the rage for today. I hope you enjoyed the qualities that I presented and I would now love to see or hear your opinion. Leave a comment below if you think you're a good developer or if you're not a good developer. Have you experienced these fears of imposter syndrome before? And what are your thoughts about the 10x rockstar developer, engineer developer? I'm excited to see your answers. Let me know them below. As always, make sure to hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon. I hope you will have a great week. Um, this week, in the mentality of this vlog, get things done as a developer. Don't try to be the perfect developer. If you're an experienced developer, help your other developers and make sure that the whole team in your company gets better. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next week. As always, happy coding, Simon.